Hello my creative friends. I made this card for the current Stamp Nation um, Inspiration Nation Challenge. Uh, there'll be more information on my blog. If you're on YouTube you can just check the descriptions below and I'll link to today's post. But basically we were given pictures and asked to make a card with the pictures as inspiration. And I came up with this card and I was asked how I made this focal point. So here's the video on how I made the focal point. I'm going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to do some embossing. So when you emboss, the first thing you want to do is take your embossing buddy and you're just going to remove the static on your paper. For this technique it probably doesn't matter if a little bit of white uh, splattered, it would just kind of look like snow. But what that does is it um, helps the embossing powder to only stick where you put the Versamark instead of all over your page. I'm going to make this card using the Snowflakes from Snowflake Soiree. This is still available from Stampin' Up! Even though it's not in the catalogs, you can find it online and I'll link in on my blog to uh, the, the place you can find this. I'm going to start with basically my biggest image first and I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to ink my stamp up with Versamark. Versamark is a clear ink so it's going to be very difficult to see on the white but the magic will happen later. Next I'm going to take my white embossing powder. I keep them in these little plastic containers. And you're just going to sprinkle embossing powder over those snowflakes. And it's nearly impossible to see, but hopefully the light will catch it so you can kind of see where the embossing powder is sticking to the paper. Bring in your heat tool and um, the Stamp Up heat tool has two settings. That's one and that's two. I turn on my heat tool, let it heat, heat up for a few seconds and then apply it to my card. It's difficult to see on camera, but in person, what you're looking for is the embossing powder to melt. Now I'm going to take my small star and kind of fill in in between the bigger snowflakes. Oops. I'm going to take this big one here and I'm just going to get some of the tips of the snowflakes right on the edges. I'm bringing back my white embossing powder and again I'm just going to put embossing powder all over those snowflakes. I'm going to heat set them again. This time I'm going to put my um, my little mat here. If you just do it on the paper like I did, it really warps your paper underneath. For my inspiration card, I don't have the colors I used in front of me, but I'm going to guess Pool Party, Island Indigo, and maybe a little Night of Navy or Midnight Muse. Basically you just want a few colors 
and you're going to start with your lightest and work to your darkest. And I'm going to try and make this a little bit darker than I did this time because once I added the Dazzling Diamonds, the color got really light. Start with your lightest color. I'm going to use Soft Sky. I like to practice a little bit off to the side on my paper just to see how much ink is on my sponge and um, what kind of coverage I'm going to get. But then I take it and work from the inside out with my lightest and then the outside in with my darker colors. The next color I'm going to use is Marina Mist. This time I'm going from the outside in just barely hitting the middle because I want some of that soft sky to still show through. Now I'm going to pull a Knight of Navy and try and keep this mostly to the outside, just barely coming into the center. And again, I'm priming it one of the reasons I do this stamping off to this or sponging off to the side is just so that I don't get that look because that's not what I'm going for here. I want it to be a little bit smoother. So I start swirling outside and then swirl it in. Your next step is to take your big shot and cut out the piece that you've colored using the, I'm using the labels framelits. I wish I had the new um, magnetic platform, but it is on currently on back order. I didn't get it with my first order and I'm kicking myself, but it'll be available soon. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little piece of washi tape to hold it in place. And you're gonna have your multi-purpose platform with all the tabs closed, your clear plate, and another clear plate on top and just run it through the big shot. I have to run it through this way. And you just pop it out. Here is our pretty focal point. I, on this card, I just took the next size up and cut out, um, in this case it's Island Indigo. I would use Knight of Navy on this one to make it sparkly and glittery. There are several ways to make this sparkly and glittery. You could take your two-way glue pen and use Dazzling Diamonds. You could use heat and stick powder. The same way you do the regular embossing powder. You um, use um, your Versamark and then your heat and stick powder. Heat it up and while it's still hot, put on some Dazzling Diamonds. I think Stampin' Up! sells a sticky sheet, which is basically the same as what they have in the Xyron. And I have a Xyron, so this is the easiest for me. What I'm gonna do is put this face down because I want the sticky to be on the the face of it instead of the back of it and I'm just gonna run it through my little Xyron tear it off and when you peel it away you end up with sticky all over your image. I'm just going to lay the sticky side down into my dazzling diamonds and get it all glittery. And that's basically how you do it. Tap off the excess. 
So that's how you make the focal point on this card. Isn't that a pretty effect? I really like this and I think it'd be great for any Christmas card. I'm going to film another video showing how I did this part, this piece right here, in case you're interested in it. It'd be one more um, shot showing you how to do embossing. I know that some of you have asked me, how do you do embossing? I've never embossed before. So I'll do another video with this image here and I'll link it. Um, if you're on YouTube, I'll link it down below or you can just go to my blog and search for it. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you find some time today to get a little bit creative. Bye.